Hey gang, it's Will from Tested. I'm here at Maker Fair 2015 in the Intel booth with Suresh Goldwalker, who um, has built these robots. He's gonna, you're going to tell us a little bit about Edison as well. Well, I guess we should start with the, with the robot, and then we'll talk about Edison after we go. What, what exactly have you built here? Yeah, so this is actually a hexapod. We also call it a spider bot. Each one of the leg has three different servos that are basically operating just like your leg. You have a hip joint, you have a knee joint, an ankle joint. Okay. So that's what we are moving in all different directions. So these motions are actually controlled by Edison Intel chip. So Intel Edison chip has ways of basically a microcontroller as well as four gig of flash memory. It has a Wi-Fi in it. And that's what you are seeing on those spiders over there with different behaviors that have been programmed. So it's an exercise between a hardware application, this is hardware application, mm -hmm. combined with software programming and a lot of mechanical robotic combinations. It's a robot mating dance, but clearly the female is unimpressed. So Edison is a microcontroller. It's also an x86 compatible SOC? That's correct. So it, Edison is low power. SOC from Intel. Okay. It was introduced last year mainly in the context of wearables. It's this small postage side chip and it can basically go on your wristband and arms and other things wherever you may want to actually gather data and information of your from the from your wearables and then process that one way or the other by syncing through the Wi-Fi to your PC and to the cloud in the process. So, so okay, so it's more connected, and then there's also more capability for math than you would have with like an Arduino or something like that, right? That's correct. So this is fully Arduino compatible. In fact, a lot of this work in the early days was with high school students, university students who are fully capable of doing Arduino programming and giving them more powerful ways of extending their capabilities beyond 8-bit, 16-bit in, in going forward. So if, if you want to write more, if, so you can write basic Arduino sketches and run them on here. Um, can you also write other code? Uh, can you do Python and C Sharp and stuff like that? That is correct. So this is right now running, running on Yocto Linux, but it can take Node.js, it can take other various types of things in the process. This is a full-blown computer on a small little module. So is it capable of doing like machine vision stuff and things like that? Could we make these autonomous and walk around? So we will be attaching a camera that will be through USB. The graphics capabilities on this one will allow you to do some simple things like gesture recognition, face recognition type of things. If you are looking for very high speed frame rate type of applications, you have to move over to the higher powered SOCs from Intel like Core and so on and so forth. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Suresh. If people want to find out more, where can they where can they go? So, look up Intel for Edison, and you will be able to see a lot more capabilities and details, SDKs related to it. Regarding the spider bot and this, this is at some point will be open source, so people can actually build their own 3D printed parts by the servos, by this board, and they are ready to do actually embedded programming by themselves. Very cool, and, and, and the one thing that we didn't mention is it looks like all of the parts that aren't servos or the board are 3D printed on this, right? No, the servos are off the shelf. These parts are designed and, and printed on a 3D printer. Very cool, thank you so much, Suresh. Thank you. Um, and we will have more Maker Fair 2015 real soon. Thanks for watching, guys.